Do you remember what we learned during our last session? Yes, Yash? You are on mute, Yash. You are on mute, Peter. Sorry, sir. What did, what did we learn last time? Sir, I, ca I can't hear your voice. You are not audible. Drop. Can you hear can you hear me? Sir, you are not audible. Hold on. Sir, you are audible. Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, Darsh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yash, can you hear me? No, sir, I can't. Well, your network problem. Jay, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, so everyone can hear me. Yash, maybe you ch check your mic. Check your mic. I'll check your speaker. Yash, check your speaker. You are on mute. Yash, you are on mute. Sir. Now check your, check your speaker system. Change the speaker system. Okay. Yash, can you hear me? No, sir. You are not audible. No, no, no. I'm audible. Maybe your, your, your speaker is a problem. Hold on, let me send you a message. So today, so that's what did we learn last time? Do you remember? Yes, sir. What did we learn? Uh, environment. Okay. Did we did we did we learn English or science? Science. Okay. And what did we do in, in environment? What, sir? What did we learn in environment? Uh, are you? Which, which group are you in, Dash? What, sir? Which group junior. are you in? Sir, junior. Uh, sir, junior or sub junior? Sub junior. Which class are you in? Third. Yeah, so last time we learned about the environment and uh, we also explored something, right? Yes, sir. So what did we learn in environment? Jay, what did we learn last time? Sir, we have learned word in syllables and the full form of English is my environment. Yes, so we covered two parts. One was the English part and the other one was, I think, the environment part, right? Let, yeah, let me, let me check. So there is no problem in my system. Can you hear me? Okay. One thing that I wanted to teach you 
as part of English was something interesting. And actually, I was supposed to do it. Maybe I missed this part, which I wanted to cover with you. It's important for all you students because you are still in the learning phase of English and you're talking every day with common sentences, common words. So we must understand something important. There is something known as Hold on, let me come to the board and explain to you. What is it written? So what have I written? Dash? You are on mute. Reddit. Yeah. Yes, sir. Reddit words. No. What are you reading? Yash, what, what have I written? You are on mute, Yash. <laughs> Yash, you are on mute. Jay, what have I written? What, sir? What, sir? What, have, what have I written on board? B. Brazilian. Reju. Redulent words. Redulent word? Redulent word. No. Red. Is, it is redundant words. Redundant. Say. Redundant. Redundant word. Thus say redundant. Redundant. Not redundant. 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 Yes. J say redundant. Yes, sir. Say redundant. Redundant. Redundant words. Redundant. Now, now, before I tell you the meaning, before I explain the meaning to you, I want you to go to Google and find out the meaning of redundant words. Find out the meaning of redundant words. Or you can also tell Google to see redundancy. See redundant words or redundancy meaning. And first you find out before I explain the meaning to you. I want you to first find and see how, how much can you understand without me explaining to you. Go ahead. I'll give you two minutes to find the meaning. I'll also bring some examples of redundant words. Bring some examples. Okay. You're on mute, Darsh. Yeah. Sir, can I tell? Yeah, no, 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 hold on, hold on. No, hold on. Let yes, let Jay also do and find some examples also. And I want to understand. Dutch, go and explore more. Don't be in a hurry, beta. <laughs> Read more. Don't be in a hurry. I'll ask. There are only two, three of you. Don't worry. Take your time. These are some of the things your school may not have told you and they may not even notice this. But it's important for you to learn because we are talking every day.
Okay, that's what is the meaning? Sir, not necessary. Sorry? Not necessary. No, no, explain to me some examples. Uh, sir, one minute. Yeah, that's why I say when you explore something, you have to first understand yourself. Okay, mm -hmm. sir. Okay. Jay, what what have you understood from your whatever you have explored? What did you understand from this redundant words? Jay? Yes. Yes, change the system. I mean, there may be some system issue. Go to the options and change the speaker system. Sir, can I explain? Yes. It it meaning things that are unnecessary or could be left out. Yes, give me some examples. And just hold on, let me speak with Yash. Let me solve this problem. Okay, so uh, Darsh, explain to me. Sir, my teacher said to me, avoid say something twice or more. My, how are you reading this English? My, why, why this poem again? My teacher said to me, avoid say something twice or more. Okay, but... You, you you could not explain to me. I still don't understand. Give me a simple example. When you are exploring something, when you are learning on your own, you should be able to explain to your audience what you're trying to say with, with simple examples. So give me a simple example, simple word, which is a redundant word. Give me an example of a simple redundant word. That's why I said, tell Google. Sure. Yeah. Yes, sir. Give me an example of a redundant word. Tell Google okay, sir. to give you an example of redundant word. J. J. J, where are you? Yes, sir. I am here. Okay. Yes, sir. Ah. Explain. Yeah, explain to me now. Hello? My husband. 
searching, sir. Sir, I am searching. Sorry? You still searching? Yes, sir. Quick, 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 beta, quick. Let's see. For everything, there's a time also. We have to improve the quality, plus we have to improve the speed also, okay? We cannot take 30 minutes for one small thing. So, be quick. You have to speed up. Yash, can you hear me? Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes, can you hear me? Now, sir, I can hear you. Good. Congratulations. Now, go to Google and find, find the meaning of redundant words. Tell Google to give you the meaning of redundant words. What are redundant words? And give some examples. Before I explain to you, I want you to search yourself. Go become self self independent. Okay, go ahead. Dash, are you ready? No, sir. Ah, see, you are ready in first thirty seconds, sir. I'm ready. Quick, see, that's why I said take your time. Don't rush. Sir, can I tell? Who is this? Jay? Yes, sir. It's not can I tell. There's a third or fourth time I'm telling you, Vita. It's not can I tell. It sounds very odd. Sir, can I explain? Can I explain, sir? Yes. The babe. The baby boy was born at midnight. So, just give me one or two redundant words. Forget the sentence. I want one or two redundant words. The baby boy was born at midnight. That I understand. But how? how is this redundant? This has not given me the meaning what I'm looking for. First, give me the meaning of redundant. What is redundant meaning? And then give me an example. Dash, have you searched? Yes, sir. Tell me. Sir, one minute. Searching. Sir, I have research. Okay, Yash. Tell me, Yash. Yes, yes. Yes, you're on mute. Sir? Yes, yes sir. sir. Can I explain? Yes, please. Uh, 12 midnight. Yes, so now what does this mean? Very good. This is a right example. So what does this mean, 12 midnight? Uh, midnight. Sir? 12 means... Yeah, tell me. 12 means midnight. Yes, very good, very good. So should you say 12 midnight or should you say midnight? Midnight. Yes. We should never say, I will meet you at 12 midnight. Midnight is... Yeah, yes, Jay. Okay, Tell me. 
Please explain clearly. Sir, can I tell? Hold on, hold on. J, yes? Gift, free gift. Sorry? Sir, gift and free gift. Gift and? Your voice is breaking. 12 noon, 12 midnight, midnight. Yeah, that is, that, that's an explain. So now, <clears throat> give another example. That's an explain that 12 midnight. You give me another example. Self free gift, gift. Yeah, so what does this mean, Jay? When you say free gift and gift, what does this mean? So gift means it's already free. Yes, very good. So gift means it's already free. You cannot say, I'm giving you a free gift. You cannot say, I will meet you at 12 midnight. There are some words which cannot be repeated. One word itself means it gives the meaning. Yash, are you ready? Yash? Yes, sir. Now explain to me. A redundant expression is one that includes unnecessary or repetitive words or... No, no, not repetitive. 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 Repetitive means you're repeating. That is repetitive. Repetitive words or parentheses that do not add any meaningful information to the sentence. Here, an example, I, I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah, so what does this mean? I saw it with my own eyes. What does this mean? The parenthesis is redundant because the act of seeing already implies using once. Yes, very good. So, now yes, when you're reading, you know, your pronunciation, please, information, say information. Say information. I I didn't like the way you read the sentence. No, you don't have to. You don't forget that the pronunciation has to be there. Okay, please read carefully. Read slowly. With right, read with right pronunciation. Okay, good. Now that you all have explained, <coughs> Dutch. Hope you have understood this meaning of redundant word. Right? Yes, sir. Yash also, Jay also. Now because I wanted you to first learn on your own before I explain to you. When I explain to you what happens, you get influenced and you become dependent on me, become dependent on a teacher. When you first try learning yourself and when I explain to you, your understanding becomes easier. So now when I will explain to you, you see, you will understand in a jiffy. In two seconds, you will understand this meaning because you already know 50% of the concept of redundant words. What happens in English, even in Hindi, when you speak every day, there are certain words which we repeat to put more stress, to put more focus, to put more attention. I said, sometimes you know, like he just said, you know what, I saw the accident with my own eyes. That's wrong. <clears throat> you always see with your eyes. You cannot see with your ears or you cannot see with your hands. So when you say, I saw, the, I saw an accident, you don't have to say, I saw an accident with my own eyes. I cannot see with the eyes of Dash. I cannot see with the eyes of Yash. Is this clear, Dash? Yes, sir. Yash, is this clear? Yes, sir. Jay, is this clear? Yes, sir. So, you have to be careful. We attention pay we repeat our sentence. And when you write these sentences in your essays, in your speeches, what happens? It fills up your lines. It takes up your words. But it has it adds no value. 
redundant redundant words they don't add value to your sentences they don't add values to your speech to your essays they are repetitive words and you may also get a negative marking in your essays in your answers so they are repetitive words or sentences or phrases which add which add which don't add value they should add value to your sentences to your meaning or to your speech this is clear right jay dash yash yes sir yes sir okay. so now yes, whenever you whenever you talk when we speak every day in school home wherever please be careful on these repetitive words now i will give you a few words and then you will find out more you will find out 10 more such redundant words and tell me so now let me show you a few words here can you see my screen is it visible is it visible yes sir yeah. dash is it visible yes sir yes i i can see your sister behind what's her name not she is not my sister she is my friend she is your friend okay <laughs> good <laughs> ask her also to sit down and learn yes dash can you see the can you see my screen yes sir yes sir okay is it visible are these words visible yes sir good now he said be concise be short speak what you're supposed to speak rather than speaking everything so instead of pricing this the way he said 12 midnight no the right word is midnight i woke up at midnight not 12 midnight 12 instead of saying 12 noon it is noon what's the time of when are you coming home i'm coming at noon i'm coming noon or i'm at, i'm coming at noon instead of saying 12 noon now a total of 14 words when you are saying total you don't have to say when you are saying 14 words you don't have to say total you just have to say 14 i saw 14 words you should not say i saw a total of 14 words i have i have six chocolates you should not say i have a total of six chocolates six chocolates is said it said means six means a total of something 10 means a total of something i have five chocolates sometimes people ask you how many chocolates do you have and you say i i have a total of 10 chocolate that's wrong biography of a life biography itself means about someone's life biography of dash biography of yash that means when i say biography of yash it means this book is talking about life of yash so you cannot say biography of her life that is wrong biography of mahatma gandhi bio biography of prime minister is this clear dash yes sir is it it easy yes sir yes yes sir yes sir are, are you in military or something are you joining the army be polite yash when you speak sound courteous and polite beta your tone should be polite yash have you understood yes sir again yeah more more courteous not yes sir yes sir i have understood thank you 
first bring first bring a smile on your face only and then say thank you only then you can be courteous say yes sir i have understood thank you say yes sir i understood thank you see the change see the change now you sounding so polite courteous pehle ka aisa lag raha hai ami ami se bilkul military se nikal ke aa rahe ho that have you understood yes sir okay jay have you understood yes sir good yes sir good okay now see circle around <laughs> circle is said means around the shape of circle is around so when you say circle that's enough round this you know run this run around the circle you should not say circle around then next word is close proximity proximity itself means closeness if i ask you what is in the proximity of your school Or what is close to school? You can say there is a the police station is in proximity to school. So close proximity is wrong, is redundant. Proximity itself is close. Now tell me one thing. Do you think this this is going to help you? Because do we do speak repetitive words every day, right? Yes or no, Darsh? Yes, sir. Did you ever notice this? Did you notice the redundant words? Yes, sir. No, did you notice earlier? No, sir. Yes, did you notice these redundant words? No, sir. So now, when you speak, when we talk to someone, when we write our answers, essays, please pay attention to this. These are important and critical. Let's say each and every no. Each person is having food. You cannot say each and every. Each and every means the same thing. There is a context. Ready? Please note this. Please note this. I will give you a task on this. Each and every. Okay. Note this. Now, end end result. Result means when do we get a result? Darsh, when do we get a result? Yes, sir. Yes, go on mute. Yes, go on mute, please. Yes. yes. When do we see? When do we see any result? Yes. What is the meaning of result? End of the year. End of end of anything, right? Yes, after sir. After running, after running a race, either I come first, second, or third. That is the result, correct? Yes, sir. At the end of the examination. I come first, second, third, or I get my score. That is the result, right? Yes, sir. So, say end result is incorrect. Result itself means coming at the end of something, at the end of an event. So you should never say, "I'm waiting for my end result." I'm waiting for my result. Is this clear, Jay? Yes, sir. Good. They exactly the same. You know, sometimes I have, you know I bought this shirt. Oh, I bought exactly the same shirt. No, that is wrong. <clears throat> It should be I bought the same shirt. Exactly means also exactly also means same. So you should not say exactly the same. You should say I have a same shirt. I have a similar shirt. What is the difference between same and similar? J. What is the difference between same and similar? So same means something different thing that is same. What is similar? Similar means our eyes look similar in 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 our lips. No. What is the? I'm see. You are giving me a sentence. I'm asking the meaning. Or so describe. Can... Yeah, explain something. You know, learn to explain also, Vika. Explaining, expressing is important. Which you may all have seen to each yes. other. Say sorry. Go again. Which things are same to each other? 
No, not exactly. Same to each other. Sir, no. sir can I tell? Yes, yes, sir. Almost, mm. almost same. Yeah, that is the meaning of a dictionary that you are seeing. I know. Can you can you explain to me with an example? Yeah. Tell me an example of similar words. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. words which are similar. Near and Sir, can I tell? Hold on, hold on. I yes, two friends. They, are, are, they are, are similar. No, I will not ask you out of turn, Jay. Please raise your hand. I will ask you. I'm asking. I'm talking to you. Yes. Always remember, you should not interfere. You should not speak out of turn. Let one person speak and complete his conversation. Yash? Yash? Yes, sir. Give me two words, or two objects which look similar or which sound similar. Um... What is the meaning of similar? I want to understand the meaning of similar first. Okay, Jay, come ahead. Yes, Jay. You are on mute. Jay, you are on mute. Yeah. Yes, sir. Tell me. Tell me the meaning of similar. Sir, I have two friends. They are similar. Two friends, they are similar? Yes, sir. No, no, no. Two friends cannot be similar. Yeah. What looks similar? Two friends? Two friends can be twins. Two friends can be identical. So can I tell now? Yes. Two, two friends can be identical. Yes. So give me an example of similar. So me and my brother are twins. Yeah, that is fine. I'm asking about similar. Meaning of similar. Meaning of similar. Now, mommy, ask me. Oh, in Hindi, man. I'm listening. Similar sweater. Both have similar sweater. Sir, me and my brother have similar sweater. But first, sit straight. Sit straight. You are attending. A, you are attending a formal class, beta. You are in a magic show. Many people learn to sit for, formally. Sit straight. So me and my brother has same sweater. Okay. No, that is that that is a that is a right example, but your sentence was wrong. Me and my brother has sim similar sweater. That's wrong sentence. <clears throat> First you always talk about your brother and then you talk about yourself. Say my brother and I have not here has when you talk about two people. Have. My my brother hold and on. I hold have. on. Jay, listen. Let me let me complete my sentence, beta. Ab bol jaldi bol dete ho beech mein. Hold on, beta. My brother and I. First, you have to. My brother, you have to first talk about your brother. Second, second or third person, and then always talk about yourself towards the end. My brother and I have similar sweater. Sweaters. So my maybe, brother and I have a similar sweater. Not a similar. How can you have a similar sweater? My brother and I have similar sweaters. Similar means my brother they, and I have similar sweater. You like a sweater? Well, waiting to speak. I'm saying, beta, hold on. Let's say. You and your brother, you have red sweaters, okay? So you can say, 
they are similar, but they are not same. Same is ditto, ditto, ditto. Everything is same. That is the meaning of same. When you say similar, it means they are not same, but they look same. Okay? Dash, is this clear? Yes, sir. Now you give me an example of similar. Yes, sir. You give me an example of similar. Uh, sir, sir, one minute. I think Jai doesn't sit quietly, huh? He can't sit. I mean, he can't sit for very long. I can see he's so restless. Who bat me sometimes for each other time. Will you rest less or I can bat up as if you have a Jacob will go shan? Ajay? I know you can't sit. You're very naughty. So let's, okay. Please find out more examples. Let's say I have two plants, and I say these two plants look similar. These two plants look similar because both the plants may be looking green. Leaves may be similar. So we say these two plants are not same, but they look similar. Okay? We move ahead. Like you say, free gift. It's not, there's nothing known as free gift. It's always a gift. Instead now, in spite of the fact that, that's wrong. In spite of the fact that, you say although. We always, we should always use this word although. Although, there was no power, I found my way. Although there was no power, I found my way. In the event that, instead of saying in the event that, say if. If it rains, I will not go to school. We don't say in the event that it rains, no. We say if. New innovations, no. Innovation itself means new ideas, better ideas. So innovations, we don't say new innovation. Innovation is always new. So we say innovations. There are innovations in technology. One and the same, we don't say, you know, it's one and the same. We say it's the same. So period of four days. She said four days. Because four days, five days, ten days, itself indicates a period of time. So when it indicates a period of time, we don't say, you know, I will I will return your money over a period of 20 days. No, I will return your money in 20 days. Because period itself means a time. Repeat again. Big blunder. You never say repeat again. We always say repeat. Please repeat. Saying repeat again is a blunder. It's a big mistake. Don't ever use this. Revert back or return back. Again, it's, it's wrong. Return itself means back. So, please return home. Don't say return back home. My father returned home. Not my father returned back home. <clears throat> I returned from Kolkata. It's wrong to say I returned back from Kolkata. Return from Kolkata. Shorter, longer in length. You never say, you know what, I'm shorter than you in height. No. When you say I'm shorter than you, it means you're talking about height. My pencil is shorter in length. No. <clears throat> my pencil is short. Or my pencil is shorter. Because you pencil ki length. Ki baare mein baat kar rahe ho. So you don't need to say shorter in length. Summarize briefly. No. Summary, summarize or briefly both mean the same thing. <clears throat> Please brief him. Please summarize your project. Please summarize your answer. Please summarize your essay. Please summarize your session. Do you think it's going to help you, Jay? Are these words going to help you? Yes, sir. Good. Dash, are these words going to help you? Yes, sir. Your speeches, in your essay, in your question answers, in your literature. Correct? Yes, 
Yes, yes, sir. Good. Yes. Hope yes, you, sir. Hope, hope you will start using them correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. No. Excuse me, sir. Yes, beta. What is meaning of summarize? Summarize means recap, revise. Let's say at the at the end of at the end of every session, I do a recap with you, right? Yes, sir. So that recap I think is th something explain. No, something we are learning. The whatever we have learned today, we are summarizing. We are discussing in brief, shortly. That today we we have discussed ten things. What are those ten things we are learning? We are we are learn, we are recollecting everything. We are gathering everything at one place. Sir, in short. Yes. In short, we all summarize it brief, short. Okay, sir. Okay. So when we recap, that is summarize. Okay. Fine. Now you have to explore some words. You have to give me five more such words and also please find out the difference between each and every. Find out when do we use only each, each, and when do we use each and every? In what circumstances do we use each? And in what circumstances do we use each and every? So there are two tasks now, which you have to do now. One, find the usage of each and every. Second, you have to give me five more such words which are redundant. Okay? Your time starts now and you have to give me within seven minutes. Your seven minutes starts now. Sir, can you repeat the question? One, you have to find out the meaning of each and every. When do we use each and every? Second, you have to find five such more words which are redundant words. From Google, find five more redundant words and you have to explain to me all those five words. And your time starts now. You have to speed up. You have to learn to speed up. Now, You'll be getting it's 149. I'll give you eight minutes. Your time starts now, eight minutes.
That's how we done. No, sir. I, I, I don't see you focusing. You are looking here and there. Jay, have you done? Kabulu. Jay, have you done? Yes, sir. Come on, video. Now, how much time did you spend on exploring these answers? I gave you eight minutes. How much time did you spend in exploring these answers, Beta? In five minutes. Why? Why not? Why not those three minutes? Why not all eight I'm minutes? Sorry. sorry, Beta. Yes. Okay, I will, sir. No, no, no. See, whenever, even in a school, if your teacher has given you a time of one hour or 30 minutes to write your papers, you must spend all th you know, 30 minutes in writing your paper, revising your answer repeatedly so that you don't miss something. So you, if you have been given 30 minutes, learn to utilize 30 minutes. What do you do? Plus minute paper, can you be minute? So spend those 20 minutes in devising, learn more, explore more. So I gave you eight minutes. You spend all those eight minutes in exploring more and more and more. Okay? Words. I am reading the words, sir. Sorry? I am reading the words. Very good, very good. You know, you said no, you have finished within five minutes. That's why I gave you this gun. Good. Yes. Now eight minutes over. Yes. Yes, it disappeared. That's eight minutes over. How much? How much did you complete within eight minutes? What percentage of tasks? Have you completed within eight minutes? Sir, I don't understand. Okay, that's what I'm trying to I'm explain to you. The speed target. Okay, sir. If I gave you if I give you something to do within eight minutes, you must have done something, right? Yes. yes sir. What yes. percentage of the task have you completed? Have you completed hundred percent? Or within eight minutes, you could only complete ninety percent, seventy percent kita complete kiya apne? Sir, I don't understand. You don't understand? Have you completed have you completed your task? No, sir. How much is left? Out of five words, how many words are left? Sir, I don't know and I don't understand the question. Now you're asking me the question of, no, this question or the task question? Sir, each one. Each and every? Yes, sir. I'm saying to find out when do we use each and when do we use every? Okay? Okay, sir. Please find out, Beta. Jay, have you completed? Jay? Yes, sir. Have you finished your work? Yes, sir. Very yes. good. Very good. So now tell me, what is the meaning of each and every? Tell a lie. Tiny bite. No, Vita, I ask you, what is the meaning? What is the difference between each and every? Answer though. Sir, each means. Dekho, Vita. Aap dekho. Yeah, tell me. Each means. Each uh, means. Each means. Sir, can I explain? Hold on, hold on, Dash. Let, let Jess speak first. 
ट्राई ट्राई जय ट्राई स्पीकिंग नो प्रॉब्लम जरूरत नहीं बोल दो कोई बात नहीं बेटा बट यू है सब कुछ मम्मी बताई थी ओके फाइंड आउट फाइंड आउट आई कम बैक टू यू बेटा दस एक्सप्लेन सर सर ईच मीन्स इंडिविजुअल थिंग्स इन अ ग्रुप एवरी वन मीन्स टू अ ग्रुप यस सो गुड ट्राई गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल नाउ ट्राई गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल ईच ऑफ अस हैज अ बाईसाइकल Every me, everyone receive. Receive a special gift. Okay, very good. Yes. So each means in a group when we are referring to each person, right? And everyone is different. When when do we use each and every? each and every one in the group right so what is the difference you still have to explain what is the difference between each and each and every each and every one received a gift that may be a wrong sentence each each boy in the group is unique each boy in the group has a cycle a bicycle so explore more dash okay find out more okay give me those five words five okay. redundant words give me those five words okay sir what are those five words go on mute you are on mute You're on mute. Sir, can I tell? Sir, I'm Hold searching. Ah, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Let, yeah, wait. Sir, I'm me. searching. Okay. So you have spent eight minutes plus another five minutes. You have to speed up your task. You have to speed up. Okay, beta. When I yes, when, you, when someone gives you a time, a target, try meeting. Okay, J, yeah, explain. Sir, everyone is going for the lorry. Okay. Are you also going? Yes, sir. Where? Sir, the lorry is being in the podium. The lorry is being in the podium. नहीं होता है. The lorry, the lorry is being organized at the podium, not in the podium. The lorry is being organized in the podium. At the podium. In at Amazon. the podium. Yeah. At the podium. At the being, podium. We are being specific about the location. हम किसी specific location के बारे में बात नहीं हुई. So we say it's being organized at the podium. Okay. Okay, sir. But who who has invited you to go? You are not. Sir, no one to, invited us. No, you you are not going. You are going to study. You are going to complete the task. Only mama, your mama will go. And Papa, you are not going. Go. No, no, you are. You will not go. You are doing your homework. Okay, okay. Good, I good. have done my homework. Good, good. Very good. I'm just joking. Good. So I will. I will see you. I will see you at podium today in the evening at Rory. Don't worry. Now, tell me all those five words. Hold on, Dash. Hold on. Tell me those five words. Sir, ears time. Ears time. The reason why, whether, whether, whether or not, 
currently being one done past expensive past no 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 what are those five i asked you to find out five more redundant words what are those five words redundant word what are those five words redundant words redundant word is the wrong meaning is wrong the same thing beta jo humne bhi kiya na five we did around 10 15 i asked you to find five more मैंने पूछा आपसे बोला फाइव और फाइव मोर दस Yes, sir. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, I'll get done. Bye, bye. 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 Bye